Welcome to Hotness Issue Today, the hit. Please like, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, I have on the World News Mask, and the topic is the abduction of a young woman in China. The woman was referred to as Little Humei which translates to Little Blossom. She was first abducted in 1998, and she was sold a couple of times, once to a farmer in Jiangsu, an eastern coastal province, for what was the equivalent of a little over $1,100. She then disappeared, like, in uh, mid-1998 before being spotted again in another province, Hunan, which is in central China, where she was sold to traffickers for the equivalent of $700. But later, after being shipped around, she went back to, she was taken back to that Jiangsu province and sold to her young, um, a farmer and his uh, father again for the $1,100 um, price. That uh, she stayed there from 1999 to 2017. During that time, she had eight children by that captor, Dong. And, uh, but the strange thing is she was able to communicate with others. So I don't know why she wouldn't try to get, you know, help or something like that if she was able to communicate with outsiders. But at the same time, you know, I understand the uh, captors and slaves and all of that, their fear that they have. But that doesn't relieve the outside people, they absolutely had to know what was going on and why they wouldn't take some action to help free this, this woman from um, this bondage. All in all, the reason why it all came to light is because Dong and whoever he was with, his father, family, whoever, they put it out showing her being chained by the neck and held captive a video on the internet. And that's just shown that, you know, criminals are just stupid all over the world. You're getting away with it. You getting, have gotten away with it for decades. And the way you get busted is to just go overboard, take a video, and then show it online as if you can't be traced. And, you know, that's how it came to light. They all, in it was six or seven uh, people involved. They got arrested, and they got terms from um, 13 years, up to 13 years or, or uh, less. But the other part of it is all of these other countries, China, uh, Europe, and all of these other places are always trying to make the United States like we the most criminal country in the world. We're the ones that do all these crazy, um, extravagant, criminalistic, animalistic, um, law-breaking activities. And when you turn around, 
they got the same thing that we got, you know. And then, you know, once they get busted, then all of a sudden that was supposed to be some isolated case that never happened before the first time in history when all of these other countries are older than in the United States. So chances are it's been going on way longer and things have been happening more drastic than what goes on in the United States because they are older and they feel like those criminals feel like they can get away with it. And trafficking and all of that was going on in all these other countries before they had a term to call it human trafficking. They were just doing what they normally do. And it wasn't as big of an issue. But this case came to light. The authorities investigated. They got as probably as many of them as they could that were involved. But I'm trying to figure out. This lady had eight kids. And no mention of what the um, kids life was like or is like or where they are because I'm pretty sure if he had these kids and he did have a farm so maybe the male kids were used to work the farm but if she had any female kids I'm probably sure that they were born into the same um, lifestyle as the mother or at least being groomed to be in the lifestyle at the mother. But the authorities didn't say anything on what their um, life is, or even if um, they found the kids, or even if the um, what their status is. So I would be very interested in finding out what the status of these eight kids are. Also... It's not clear on, it says she was abducted, but I also know that in a lot of these countries, China, um, Korea, all of these um, Asian countries, that parents sell their kids in order to make ends meet. And they end up definitely selling them into this life of servitude and abuse and all of that just for a few hundred dollars. But nonetheless, another story of a seminal peril of somebody that has been abused. This has been Hatness Issue Today, The Hit. Please like, subscribe, and follow my channel.